Hello beautiful creatures, how are you all doing? So in today's video, what I'm going to do, I will strive to create a makeup tutorial on the uh, look that Meghan, Meghan Markle, yes, Meghan Markle wore during the uh, interview with Oprah. So this video will not be about the controversies or any issues surrounding her currently, but uh, it will just be uh, mainly focusing on her makeup look. Okay, to start the look, I will um, apply the uh, Bobbi Brown foundation. This is my new foundation that I purchased from Sephora. It's the Skin Long Wear Weightless Foundation with SPF 15. Now I've tried this foundation already and I, I quite like it. If you want me to do a uh, separate video reviewing this or testing this foundation, please do comment down below. Now I'm just applying the foundation using my uh, beauty sponge and I'll just apply this all over my face. What I like about this foundation because it's not necessarily super high in coverage so it still gives you also uh, a bit of hydration so it will not um, dry super matte to the point that um, it will really uh, dehydrate your skin. So this one will is still a bit uh, moisturizing if you like. So not dewy but uh, just hydrating. Now how have you been doing? It's been uh, quite a long time that I didn't make a uh, video but uh, today I uh, feel like it and I have time in a while. I also have another video call so uh, let's hope that I can make this uh, right on time. So quite recently I have been very busy um, on my Instagram because I'm actually now learning how to make Instagram reels so uh, I'm uh, doing this short makeup tutorials uh, using reels and uh, if you want to follow me on instagram uh, my account is called poca beauty chat so feel free to follow i would highly highly appreciate it and uh, if you want to get to know me on a personal level so please do uh, check my instagram account okay so i have applied the bobby brown foundation on my right side and on the left i didn't apply anything yet i opted for this foundation because um when you look at the uh, um megan markle i always I'm, I'm like mistaken i'm so tempted to say angela merkel <laughs> but um Today we're talking about Meghan Markle, okay? So uh, I opted for this Bobbi Brown foundation because in some shots during the interview with Oprah, um, it looks like she's not wearing that much of a coverage because you can still see some of her freckles. So I opted for this foundation because uh, it's not necessarily super high in coverage, but it's also buildable if you want. So I'm just gonna go for this type of look today that is fresh and also um, still a bit transparent. All right, so for the concealer, I'll just uh, use the one from L'Oreal. This is the True Match because this is not necessarily also super cakey or super um, high in coverage, just really light brightening under the eyes. Now for the brows, I'll be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is their brow definer. I'm very tempted to actually uh, do some laminated brows because that's just my usual routine. But uh, looking at the picture, uh, Megan actually is not doing any of that. So she doesn't have these laminated brows or supermodel brows. She just lined or uh, filled in her uh, brows. So that's what we're going to do today. All right, so I've done the brows, now to the eyes. And I think that this is the uh, critical part of her makeup look because uh, the way I see it, Ma Meghan Markle really loves smoky eyes. And I also noticed and know her from the uh, previous TV shows she was in, that's the uh, suit. I don't know if you have uh, watched it as well. I started watching it and I wasn't necessarily fond of uh, her partner there. Uh, <laughs> I'll tell you why, um, maybe later while we're doing our mascara, but uh, uh, I know Megan from that TV show and I've seen that she always loves this smoky eye look with nude lips. So what we're going to do today, we're going to achieve that smoky eyes um, indeed to uh, what she was wearing during that interview with Oprah. So I'm going to be using my Bobbi Brown makeup palette and this is actually the uh, in a flash eyeshadow palette real old one i got this uh, from christmas uh, as, a, as a christmas gift so um yeah i still love it though beautiful um eyeshadow palette so this is the in a flash eyeshadow palette and i'll be mainly using the browns over here and so i will try to emphasize the edges um, with the darker shades 
Okay, the first shade that I will be using is this one over here. A really nice um, sort of champagne, but also peachy, slight goldy type of shade. And I'm just gonna apply this all over the lid. Now, I really do think that this is such a, a good base if you wanna do uh, some smoky eye look. Next, I'm actually just using the Benefit. This is the uh, Hula bronzer just to create a bit of transition on uh, top of the lid. Now, we can't exactly know the exact or specific products that she used in her makeup look. Um, so there's no such thing as 100% uh, score on this one. Um, we can only guess and we can only imitate it, right? So only her makeup artists know exactly uh, what they used or maybe just herself if she's done it all by herself. Uh, but we can try to just um, do our best. So I have mentioned that I'm not necessarily a fan of uh, her old TV show called Suit. Um, she, if I'm not mistaken, she played the, the role of a paralegal in that uh, specific law firm, right? And I'm not liking it because of Mike. Uh, <laughs> why? Because uh, I myself is a law lecturer and uh, I, of course, know the uh, field very well. Um, I'm specifically teaching commercial law. And um, yeah, in there, you can see Mike um, who is actually a fraud, not necessarily uh, a person who graduated in uh, Harvard, so to say. And um, I think I was at the point or the phase of the uh, program of the uh, TV show where he actually demanded to become um, one of the partners, if I'm not mistaken. And I was like, what? Dude, you can't do that. So this is why I stopped watching it. Next, I'll be using the same dark brown shade and I'm just going to apply this in the lower lash line. Now you don't need to have the same um, eyeshadow palette like this Bobbi Brown as long as you have a good transitions of brown. So lighter brown and a dark brown, uh, you can definitely recreate this look. So you don't need to purchase the same products like what I'm using right now. And you can take the benefit again and try to just transition that similarly as what we've done on the uh, upper lid. Just to uh, have a seamless blending over here. Next, with an angled brush, I'm just using the uh, black eyeshadow. And what we're going to do, I will deepen the uh, look just as close as possible to the lash line. So to create a little bit of um, depth or a sort of deepening of the looks, right? From the uh, line of your eyelashes. And we'll do the same later with the eyeliner in the lower lash line. So as you can see, I just created a tiny bit of line over here. And what we're going to do now, we're just going to smoke it out. You can also either use a um, cream eyeliner for this one, but I prefer the uh, powder because then I can blend it better. So you just have to smoke it out now. For the next step, we will be using the Maybelline eyeliner and we really need a really black, black eyeliner to actually uh, create a line in the waterline so we can just smudge it thereafter, okay? To create this smokiness as well. So I'm going to uh, just line this up to my waterline. And I'm just going to smoke it out with a smudge brush and this is uh, from Beauty Bay. So you just have to smoke it out and try to also mix it with the rest of the brown eyeshadow. And to finalize, I'll just repeat the process just to emphasize the uh, black eyeliner. Next, I'm just gonna curl my lashes. And for this look, you really need a whole lot of mascara, guys, as much as possible. So I'll be using the one from Essence. This is their Lash Princess. Now, this is really affordable, but it does the job. It's actually a really good mascara compared to the other ones that, uh, you know, other drugstore mascaras that are a bit of a high uh, in terms of prices. Okay, so I'm just going to apply this uh, liberally on my uh, eyelashes. Now, I don't know if you can see the difference, but the right side is with mascara and the other side is without. So there you can really see the difference. This mascara, it's uh, really good. <laughs> now, I actually didn't watch the whole interview. I just uh, saw the uh, brief interaction with uh, her and Oprah. Uh, because I can't find a link where, uh, you know, you can actually watch the whole uh, interview. 
but I had a good glimpse of how she looked like and to be honest with you I'm not necessarily updated with uh, the issues itself so I can't discuss that with you here however that doesn't mean that I'm not interested so if you want to uh, you know have some remark or comment about what's going on with uh, Meghan Markle's life feel free to comment down below keep me in the loop um, but also try to use some keywords yeah <laughs> Keywords such as makeup, tutorial, the products that I'm using because apparently it helps boost my uh, YouTube channel. So don't forget to also uh, do that, <laughs> please. <laughs> I would highly appreciate it. But yeah, feel free to comment down below and uh, also don't forget to uh, like this video and subscribe guys. Um, that would be really good to help my YouTube channel grow um, and also motivate me to do more videos. But no pressure. Thank you very much in advance. All right, so done with the brows and eyes. Now for the cheeks. I actually, uh, the more I looked at her face, um, the more I realized that she really went for this uh, youthful glow. So she actually did not apply just her blush over here, but really on the apple of the cheeks as well. So we're going to achieve that pinky youthful glow that she uh, uh, did for her makeup look. I'm using the Unexpected Paradise, and this is from Kiko. The um, number shade number three, Aspiration mauve so it looks like this because I really noticed that she has a really beautiful pink blush um, on her cheeks so we're just going to also follow that first I'm going to start right over here then I'm just going to do it here in the apple of the cheeks next I don't necessarily see a whole lot of highlighters on her cheeks but we're just gonna apply anyway just a light highlighter so I'm just gonna go for the Becca um, palette of mine so I'm just gonna be using this it's really just subtle highlighter so any highlighters you have subtle highlighter it will do all right so for the lips as I have mentioned Megan really loves the, her nude shade um, but in the interview with Oprah I noticed that there's also a slight hint of pink in there um, what I have here, I will be using the one from Marc Jacobs and also from Charlotte Tilbury. Now, these are just minis, you guys, so don't be alarmed that, the, oh my gosh, she's using a whole lot of luxurious products. Now, these are just minis, so I'm going to be mixing these two. This one is from Charlotte Tilbury, and this is their Pillow um, pillow Talk um, shade, and this one is uh, Marc Jacobs, and I'm not necessarily sure. Uh, okay, so this is the Slow Burn shade, so I'm just going to be mixing these two. It's like the nude shade with slight hint of pink. So this is the final look of Meghan Markle's makeup look during her interview with Oprah. I hope that you have enjoyed this one. I didn't use any uh, fake eyelashes because if she's wearing one, it should be very natural. But I think that my mascara did a good job today. Um, and yeah, I really enjoyed making this uh, makeup look. So let me know what you think about it. And also, of course, like I said, I, ha I don't know much about um, Meghan Markle. <laughs> Angela Merkel I know but I don't know much about Meghan Markle so if you want to keep me in the loop comment down below but also let me know what you think about this uh, specific makeup look so uh, please uh, do like this video and subscribe if you like I would highly highly appreciate it it is Monday today in the Netherlands and on that note I would like to wish you all a great week ahead and stay safe, take good care of yourself, be kind to each other, and always remember that you are beautiful. Bye, guys!